A civic group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Horiwa, has raised the alarm over an alleged plot by some aggrieved insiders and loyalists in Asorok to undermine President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration by sponsoring smear campaigns against his chief of staff, Femi Bajabiamila. Addressing a press conference this Monday in Abuja, the group, through its national coordinator, Emmanuel Omubiko, called on the aggrieved loyalists to desist from spreading false information and allow the president to deliver his mandate for Nigerians. In the last few days, some news outlets and blogs have been reporting that the chief of staff to the president, Femi Gbajabiamila, may soon be replaced following allegations of trading key appointments into Tinubu's cabinet to the highest bidders. Recall that online newspaper Daily Post reported that some loyalists of the president accused his chief of staff of selling appointments to the highest bidders. They claimed an insider disclosed that since the beginning of President Tinubu's administration, Bajabi Amila has been replacing some of the names of individuals approved by the president for appointments with his own choices. This report noted that these allegations have caused outrage among members of the public who are calling for a thorough investigation into the matter. Reacting to the development, Civic Group, Human Rights Writers Association, Huriwa, at a press conference this Monday, said the smear campaign is a conspiracy of the highest order. It's not possible for the chief of staff to be collecting money and be giving people appointments. That is preposterous. That is a falsehood that is unheard of. And how we got to know that it's falsehood is because if somebody comes to you and said, Mr. Man, your voice is respected. Can you help us? drum up this position that this gentleman is doing a lot of harm. Which harm? Okay, bring evidence and you don't have evidence anywhere. This is very unfortunate. So we are organizing this press conference to call on the APC. You guys have already won the election. Allow the president to have a, a breath of fresh air. The president also needs to be allowed to walk. You don't use infighting because you are not made a minister or you are not made SSA or you're not made SA or you're not made a whatever appointment. Appointment, it cannot be for every Tinubu boys. All Tinubu boys cannot get appointment. Otherwise, if Tinubu boys get appointment, Nigeria becomes a Tinubu nation. Nigeria is not a Tinubu republic. The group fingered some aggrieved persons in the presidential villa of allegedly being the brain behind the campaign of calumny. The president possesses the agency to approve or disapprove of any nominations and it's indeed improbable that any manipulation of this appointment could occur without his knowledge and consent. Therefore, the allegations swirling around Mr. Bajabi Amila are not to be taken lightly, for they are fraught with implications. Accusations of manipulating government appointments can erode public trust in the democratic process and the leadership of the nation. They can also tarnish the reputation of individuals targeted by such allegations. We understand there are individuals close to the president, often referred to as Lagos boys, and of course, Lagos girls, who aspire for official government positions. It is vital to acknowledge that not every close associate of a political leader can or should be appointed to government positions. Appointments should be made based on merit, qualifications, and the capacity to contribute to good governance. The group also called on all stakeholders to promote unity and discourage divisive tactics that can undermine national stability.